Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the Escalations, and today's Escalation, the Farley Crescendo, set in Colorado, and this is a 5 level Escalation. So, for level 1, we have one target, uh, one of the hackers in the farmhouse, and we must also be disguised as a hacker. So for this challenge we will be starting undercover as a hacker in the farmhouse and the only item we will need to be bringing with us will be a remote explosive of your choice. I've opted for the pale duck. So right from the start and off the bat we are going to make our way downstairs. So out of the hacker's room upstairs and into the server room downstairs. And we're going to go out the window avoiding our target or one of our targets from a later level who is an enforcer. Once we're out of the window we're going to approach the rear of the barbecue here. And just at the right hand corner we're going to place our pale duck. And here comes our target now. He is just exited from the command office or the kitchen. So he's going to stop to take a seat and a cigarette out here. But smoking is bad for your health. So once we detonate the pale duck we will trigger the gas lamp explosion which will kill our target and we are free then to leave via the west bridge. So a nice easy start to this escalation. Uh, there we go, look at that, just over a minute, not bad. So moving on to level two and we now have a second target. Now this target is somewhat difficult because he appears to be either broken or glitched. But I have two methods for getting to him so he won't be a problem. So for level 2 we will be bringing with us our pale duck and this time in addition we will be bringing with us a lethal syringe as well and still starting as a hacker in the farmhouse. So right from the start of level 2 we are basically going to rinse and repeat everything we did in level 1 to start with. So we're going to make our way down the stairs through the server room up down and through this room and the guy who almost sees you there is our second target now he should have engaged in a conversation and that's where the problem lies because he doesn't seem to engage in the conversation and he gets stuck but once we've ducked through the window and around the back of the barbecue we're going to place our little duck there just on the right hand corner and when our target arrives to have his cigarette break we can then detonate the explosive which will trigger the gas lamp to explode and kill our target. So that's now going to create a bit of panic. So we're going to make our way back in through the window and we're going to go and retrieve the uh, cowboy bust that's in the bedroom just on the far side of the farmhouse here just here on our right and we may need this if our second target has glitched out and broken but we won't know if he has or not until everybody goes back to their usual routine so we're just gonna wait behind this air conditioning unit in the server room here until everything goes back to normal and it looks like our target is glitched out and broken and is stuck in the next room where he should be having a conversation and then come into this room but he's not having the conversation so what we are going to do is wait for Miss Greaves here to leave and just as she does our target seems to have got his act together and has made his way into the room so we will show you one way of taking out the target if he is not glitched out and continuing on his normal routine. So once he finishes up at that laptop in the center of the room he will move over to our right here. And it's at this point we can stop blending in, select our lethal syringe and inject him with our poison. 
Uh, just be aware of the two guards in the kitchen. Uh, if one of them is not sitting in the chair, I believe it is, he could be moving around and may spot you. But once we have injected our second target, we can then make our way out of the window to avoid any cameras and approach the west bridge. So level 2 now taken care of, also with a silent assassin rating, but it did take considerably longer. So moving on to level 3, and for level 3 we have a new objective, and that is to hack the laptop in the farmhouse. Now this particular laptop is in the room next to where we start on the first floor. So as with the previous level, all we will need to be bringing with us will be our pale duck and a lethal syringe. And once again, we will be starting in the uh, farmhouse as a hacker. So from the start and off the bat, we will once again rinse and repeat what we did for levels one and two for our first target. Uh, we want to get down here nice and quick and get this over with basically. So once we're into the server room, we're going to duck down through the next room, out the window, try not to get spotted. Uh, we're going to make our way around to the back of the barbecue here, select our pale duck and place Mr. Ducky just on the floor by the right hand corner of the barbecue. And just in time, because here comes our target now. And just as he's turning round, I'm going to trigger the explosion. And we're going to blow him onto the dinner plates. So target one dealt with. So we're now going to move on. And we're going to make our way back in through the window, just like we did in the previous level. And we're going to make our way across to the bedroom area and retrieve the cowboy bust once again just in case we need it and the second target has glitched out which I believe in either this level or the next one he does actually do so we're going to make our way once we have the cowboy bust back into the server room and we're just going to wait here for everyone to go back to their routines and our target has glitched out so we're going to take out the patrolling guard who frequents this room. We want him over on the right hand side. So we're going to throw our bust at his head, grab his body, and I'm going to be a daredevil because there's a box beyond this door. No one seems to be looking. We can drag him and put him in the crate provided. So with that taken care of, we can now lure our second target into this area. He may not go into his usual routine, but he still reacts to noises and things like that. So we're going to retrieve our bust, and it's at this point I don't actually realize that the guard's gun is on the floor. So when we throw the bust and get in position ready to hide, the target will come in, and he will see the gun and immediately walk off to get a guard. So we're just going to wait for that guard to take the gun away before we reset and try again. And hopefully for the next levels we won't forget that the guard has a gun and drops it. So this time we're going to wait by the server in the center of the room. We throw our bust down by the hoover. Uh, select our lethal syringe and when the target comes in we can inject him with our lethal syringe so that is our two targets taken care of and we can leave his body there because it is an accident kill but we are going to move him because we need to get back into the room upstairs where the other two hackers are and hack the laptop now this takes about 20 seconds which we do not have but, uh, a 20 second gap uh, between the patrols or routines of the hackers but if we turn off the server down here we can lure either or both of the hackers down to the server room and render them unconscious whilst down here leaving the laptop we require unprotected so the first of our victims has now arrived 
And we're gonna wait for the door to close, target his head and launch our cowboy bust. And then we're gonna hide his body behind the air conditioning units just around the corner here. And make sure he's well tucked up because we are coming back to this area once again. We're gonna retrieve our bust and rinse and repeat the exact same procedure for the second hacker in the upstairs bedroom. So again, once we've turned off the server, we're just gonna wait behind the air conditioning unit for our victim. And when he comes down to investigate, we can then render him unconscious and it's plain sailing from here. So wait for the door to close, throw the cowboy bust. There we go. That's all the hackers but me now unconscious, I do believe. I think there might be one in the garden somewhere, possibly. So they look pretty well tucked up there. We're now gonna make our way up to the bedroom upstairs. Just double checking on the patrolling guard, but he's not an enforcer. And he's just made his way past here. So we're gonna approach the laptop and we are going to hack the laptop. So like I said, this takes 20 seconds. So you really need to have at least one of the hackers out of this room but I opted to take them both out to give myself maximum time and once we've hacked the laptop we can then exit the level via the west bridge and via the window here once again and the reason we go out that way is just to avoid cameras over the doors and it is probably the nearest exit to the bridge so there we go three levels now taken care of and things will escalate obviously once again uh, eight minutes so for each level I've, I've first level I quadrupled my time for the second level and I've doubled my time for the third level and moving on to the fourth level we now have more enforcers to the hacker disguise or the hacker outfit so we are going to have to be somewhat more cautious uh, unfortunately, or luckily shall we say, uh, we don't need to bring anything else with us. We can use the exact same loadout, the lethal syringe and the remote explosive. So once again, right from the start and off the bat, we are going to leave our blending in spot and make our way downstairs and out into the garden via the window and we are going to set up our booby trap for our first target. So out the window, approach the barbecue from the rear, select our pale duck or the remote explosive. And we want to place our duck just on the right hand side here. A bit more around the corner, that'll do nicely. Uh, our target is already approaching. So as soon as he stops, we can trigger the explosive. That will set off the gas lamp and kill the target. We can then make our way back into the building via the window. And we are gonna go and once again, retrieve the cowboy bust. Let these uh, fine gentlemen go past. Just be aware that there is a lot of people running around panicking. And there are one or two enforcers around, especially if um, Sean Rose or Penelope Graves are in the vicinity. So once we have the cowboy bust in hand, we can make our way back to the server room. We're going to wait behind the air conditioning units once again for everything to go back to normal. And once again, our target is glitched out. As you can see, Penelope Greaves is just leaving the building, so we want her to get nice and clear. So once again, with our target glitched out and not moving, we're gonna render the patrolling guard who is supposed to have the conversation with unconscious. We're gonna hide his body in the crate in the entrance hall. I'm being a bit braver this time. I didn't check to see if anyone was looking. We're gonna go and retrieve not only our bust, but the guard's gun that he drops as well. So picking up the gun and the bust, 
we can drop the gun behind the air conditioning units we won't be needing that anyway so we're going to select our bust we're going to throw it into the room by the hoover just on the right hand side there use the server for cover select our lethal syringe wait for our target to come around to investigate and suffer the punch glitch but luckily this guy is our target so as soon as we snap his neck we get our silent assassin rating back and we're going to hide his body now in the closet next to the surveillance system controls there we go so both of our targets are taken care of so once again we are going to utilize the server to lure down both of the other hackers from upstairs so we're going to turn off the server don't forget to retrieve your cowboy bust your cowboy bust is your friend so once the server is turned off that will get the attention of one of the two hackers upstairs usually it's the enforcer first so as i said you don't always have to take them both out i just prefer to so once the door closes we can render the hacker unconscious we're going to drag his body around behind the air conditioning units and again making sure he is nicely tucked up behind this area which he almost is let's just move that arm shall we that's much better are you comfy there well done so we're going to now retrieve our bust which is ah here you are and reset our server trap so server goes off hacker gets suspicious and we can then hide behind the air conditioning so when the second hacker makes his way downstairs we can then reutilize our cowboy bust once again whilst waiting for the door to close first and render him unconscious we're going to hide him with his colleague behind the air conditioning units and we're not so worried about tucking this guy up quite so much but he's actually slid into a very nice position there so all that's left for us to do is to hack the laptop but this time around the patrolling guard on the landing upstairs is an enforcer so we are just going to wait for him to go past before we make our way up the stairs approach the laptop and hack the laptop and we've got plenty of time now because we got up here a little bit quicker this time so once we have the laptop hacked all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape once again and once again making our escape via the window to the garden to avoid the cameras over the doors and we can then head for the west bridge so four levels down one more to go and for the final level uh, we have one more obviously a less escalation I mean they said escalation too many L's in there so less than eight minutes this time not bad so for level five we have one more uh, uh, escalation style thing we're not allowed to use the military elite uh, uniform which we haven't done so that doesn't apply but they've also moved the laptop so we no longer need to take out the two hackers on the first floor so just like in the previous levels all we need to bring with us will be our lethal syringe and our pale duck or remote explosive and right from the start as we've done throughout this escalation we're going to make our way down the stairs and we're going to retrieve Sean Rose's bedroom door key from the kitchen here before making our way out through the window and approaching the barbecue and the reason we've done that is because uh, the new location of the laptop we need to hack is now in Sean Rose's bedroom. So having a key to that room will be very helpful. 
So once we're out the window and behind the barbecue, we're going to pull out our remote explosive, place it just on the corner here. As you can see, our target is already here. So we're going to trigger the explosive real quick. It's not quite as spectacular as previously, but it will do. So once we have eliminated our first target, we can then make our way back into the building. Just going to be aware of where our second target is running around at the, at the moment because he is an enforcer. The guard on the upper balcony is also an enforcer. So we're just going to wait for him to make his way past the room we require. And then make our way up the stairs. And we're going to make our way around to Ro Sean Rose's bathroom. And we're going to lock. Uh, unlock the door here with the keys we've collected, make our way into the bedroom, and in here we will find one guard. Oh look, another cowboy bus. So what we're going to do is wait for the guard to leave his position at the window at the front of the house there, and he will then go and stand by a window to our left. Although we're facing the wrong way and it would technically be our right. But once he goes past, we can break cover and throw the bust at his head. We're going to hide his body in the closet in the bedroom, just in case anybody comes up here, like Sean Rose and his bodyguard. And once we've got this guy safely tucked up, we can then proceed to hack the laptop, which is in the office area here. So once again this takes 20 seconds but without the guard in the room we have plenty of time. We may even have time to do this while the guard is still at the other window. I didn't bother to check and find out, I just rendered him unconscious. So the laptop is now taken care of. We're just going to wait in the bathroom here for the patrolling enforcer to make his way past before we head downstairs and take care of our second target and it looks when I was using instinct that our second target once again has glitched out and isn't moving and that was rather close Penelope Graves is a enforcer useful to know so as it appears it does it does sound like to me at least that the target is engaged in the conversation and he was so he is not currently glitched out and is going to act normally for this level so all we have to do is wait for him to finish on the laptop in the center of the room there he will then move around to our right and we can then uh, inject him with the lethal poison and hope we don't get the punch glitch again so once he's in position here, we're going to crouch down to try this a little bit better. And that worked perfectly. So that is our second target taken care of and level five dealt with. So once again, exit him via the window so that we can avoid the cameras. We can make our way off of the property and to the West Bridge. So that is the Farley Crescendo escalation taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.